it's Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics and today I've got a prehab on how to save your brain. Guys, we all know that roller derby is a full contact sport and it comes with some physical risks. One of those risks, of course, is concussions. The good news is that some of the other contact sports like football and ice hockey have been producing some very interesting studies and results lately showing that athletes who spend some time training their neck muscles actually sustain fewer and less severe concussions. Which is great because that means there's actually something we can do about this. So today I'm going to show you some really simple exercises you can do any old time to help reduce your risk of sustaining a severe concussion. The first set of exercises is dead simple. It's just a series of isometric holds. Isometric movements are ones where your muscle is contracted, but it's not actually moving through a range of motion. So think about all the different directions that your head can turn and move, and we are going to contract our muscles in that direction. So starting with a chin forward motion, put your hand on your forehead and press against your hand as hard as you can with your neck muscles, with your head, for a count of five to eight. And you can repeat that three to five times. So we've got forward. Now we can do sideways with a, an ear to shoulder motion. So we can resist that sideways motion. So I'm pressing this way with my head and I'm pressing this way with my hand and resisting that for a count of five to eight. Again, three to five reps. Okay, we can go backwards. You can do it with one hand. I find it more comfortable to do two hands and just press my head backwards this way. Same thing. What else have we got? We've got turning our head left and right. So I'm gonna turn my head this way and I'm gonna resist against it and try to go all Incredible Hulk with my neck. Yeah? Uh, finally, one that is less often thought of, but it's um, jutting your chin outwards this way, forwards and up. I sustained a car accident and I had terrible whiplash and this is one of the hardest things for me. Uh, and it does come up in roller derby, believe me. So put the heel of your hand on your forehead and try to send your forehead to the far corner of the room, that upward motion. Okay? So as you can see, that's really simple, but if you repeat that and do that a couple of times a week or before every practice, uh, you're really going to make some gains with your neck strength. Each time you're doing these exercises, please make sure that you are keeping your spine and your neck in a, in a neutral position. So you don't want to be doing all of these with your chin stuck out like this. This may be how you pose for profile pictures for Facebook so that your neck looks skinny. But in this case, I really want you to go a little more on the double chin side. and I want you to um, over-exaggerate, tucking your chin towards your chest a little bit. Not down like this, but just pulling your neck back and in. And that's the safest position to do all these moves from. It's not just the safest position, it's also the strongest position. And it's a good one to get used to getting into for things like receiving hits and giving hits in roller derby, which is just as important, right, in this sport. Next up, we've got a couple of exercises that you need some weight to do. And just to prove that there's no excuses for not doing these, you can use your skates, okay? So you can all do this as a team before or after practice, no problem, no extra equipment required. Of course, if you have access to heavier hand weights or even milk jugs, uh, then that's great too, because you could do this with more weight. So the first one is super simple, just shrugs. Up and down. Depending on how heavy your weights are, you could shoot for 15 to 20 reps of those. Next up, you've got rows. So we're just gonna stand here, bring our elbows up to the sides, always rolling back our shoulders so we're in a good neutral spine position and lift our weights up to our shoulders and back down. It's a simple vertical row. Again, depending on how much weight you're lifting, probably shoot for 20 or more reps if you're just using skates and ratchet it back if you're using weight. And finally, overhead press. Overhead, again, keeping your chin in that nice neutral position and your back and spine in a neutral position. For our next trick, we are going to need a ball. This is just a regular old garden variety toy ball from the toy store, and that's all you need. 
a little bit harder, the larger the ball gets. So start small and uh, start with it a little squishy and you can also make this harder by inflating it harder. Okay, I'm gonna put this ball against the wall. I'm gonna lean my head into it. So my feet are a couple, oh, a foot away from the wall. I'm gonna lean the side of my head into the ball and then I'm going to try to just move around a little bit, kind of rotate around and control the motion of the ball so that I don't roll off. What's great about this is that unlike the kind of static uh, isometric moves we were doing, it introduces kind of the full range of motion of your neck. Okay, so you can do that for 30 seconds on the right side, 30 seconds on the left, you can do it backwards, and the best one is forwards. So you're just gonna lean into it, and then kind of rotate all the way around in different orientations, just kind of resisting that roll. And to make it harder, you can move your feet further away from the wall so that you have kind of more of your neck force being used to resist that motion. And again, you can just do this for 30 seconds or so on the right side, the left side, the front, and the back. There are lots of different types of neck strengthening exercises that you can do to help reduce your risk of injury in roller derby, but those are the ones that I've selected because they are simple, they don't take a lot of time, and they don't take a lot of equipment. Prehab is so important. It is so much more fun to do than doing rehab exercises after an injury. Yuck, no one likes that. So I do hope that you'll give these exercises a try and introduce them into your regular warm-up routine before practice and before games. Having a strong neck will not only help you prevent concussions, but will also help you hit harder. If you like this video, then I hope you'll share it with a teammate or a friend and help them become a stronger roller derby athlete as well. I'm Booty Quake, and this has been a brain-saving, neck-strengthening prehab workout from Roller Derby Athletics. Till next time.